right, guys. Uh, Ninja Truth, the episode, uh, you know, the, the sort of series episodes by NHK, which I'm going to be honest, are uh, not always the best. They, they depict Ninja in a very stereotypical way, but they are. They do have some good information. And one of the episodes recently talked about the Canrin Say Your Manual, which is the manual which was found recently, and it's meant to predate the Banson Shukai, and the Banson Shukai is meant to be based off of of the, this manual. Now, Krista Jacobson sent me the link because I haven't kept up with the series, to be honest, and Krista Jacobson did a video yesterday. So uh, go and see Krista's version. And yeah, I just wanted to chip in because it's actually got some good points in this. Now, the manual says that when you are going through a gate, you should put your sword on the back and you should put your, um, your short sword crossed over. You should go left foot forward and with you know, it's sort of crossed here so that um, if somebody attacks from the other side of the gate, you can it can defend against it and then you can stab them. Now, I think the demonstration that's been being done here by this company is not quite right, to be honest, and I'll do one myself in a minute. But I do want to point out that this is very much um, this is very much proof that the ninja carried the swords at their waist. Which is the opposite of what it says, isn't it? Which to me seems correct. Now we already have um, documentation that says the samurai used swords on their back. We know this. They have swords on their back. But also uh, in the um, Book of Samurai series, it says when you go into a nansho, a dangerous area, you can then you put it on your back and you can climb and do things and all that. But this manual, the Canyon Seiyo. Now we have to, we don't have the full manual to check all the grammar and the sentences and everything. Not everything's quite there yet, I don't think. But from their translation, not ours, from their translation, it says when you go through a gate, you put your sword on your back. Inferring that all of the times your sword is in the side. You're like normal, just sword. Like they show in the demonstration, the demonstration's fine in that. So it means that Shinobi would carry the sword on their left hip. Then they get to a gate and they think, OK, I'm going to put this up there. I'm going to tie it round. I'm going to take my short sword off and I'm going to walk left forward. The, the, the English they use in that translation is a little bit weird, but left forward, crouch down. And I'll show you why I think that means that. So if you go, if you go, so you've, you're going to go through a gate. You take your sword out, you put it down the back of your obby, you tie it round you like this so it's there. You take your short sword out and you cross it onto the hilt. And then what you do is you crouch down and you go left foot forward, yeah? And the idea of that is if someone is there at that side, then what's going to happen is your crouch, if they go to hit, they're going to hit this cross beam here and then you can stab, yeah? So the guy in the demonstration... He actually goes through sort of walking and I don't think I think and he's quite a bit upright. I think this is more expose your back. You're not sure if someone's there. And what you do is you basically go in like this left foot forward because then when it clobbers the back of that and you defend your head with the short sword, it goes into that cross piece clink and then you can stab. Yeah. And then when you get through that, you'll probably return your sword to your left side and carry on with the mission. So. I would say, if anything, this is evidence that the ninja carried their swords at their side. But it's great that it tells us there's specific times when the ninja would actually carry their swords on their back. But it's only very specific times. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you go and see Krista's video uh, and comment there. And uh, subscribe to both and everyone's channel. And then basically... Uh, get yourself a copy of Ninja Skills, uh, the book Ninja Skills, because it will teach you this type of thing. Uh -huh.